Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a caterpillar. I'm going to take one finger down here at the bottom and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a circle. Now this is going to show you how to draw overlaps. So starting right up here at the top, I'm going to draw a curve line over. Connect. Now I come up to the next space. Curve line over. Connect. We're going to keep going, curve line over, connect. Now notice how our line is moving. So it looks like our caterpillar is moving. I just keep adding curve lines, connect, curve lines, connect, curve lines, connect, curve lines, connect, and I think I can fit one more in. I'm going to do one more curve line, connect. Now I come back to my very first circle. I'm going to put one dot, two dots, and I'm going to draw a curve line. Little curve line on the right, little curve line on the left. I come right here at this section where it meets and I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line, into a circle on the left, come on the right, no I'm sorry, on the left, curve line, make it into a circle. Come down to the bottom, draw one straight line on the left, one straight line on the right, and now I'm going to draw a little curve line, straight line, curve line, connect, on the left, and a little curve line, straight line, curve line, connect. Now, every section where they meet, I draw a straight line and a little flat circle. Straight line, little flat circle, straight line, little flat circle. Keep going. Every place where the circles meet, the overlaps meet, straight line, little flat circle, straight line, little flat circle straight line, little flat circle. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is put some little straight lines across the top of his head and little straight lines all the way across the top of all these overlapping circles. Keep going, keep going, keep going all the way. And there we have it all the way down and around. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is inside every one of my overlapping circles I'm going to draw an orange curved line. Now you can use any color you want, but I chose orange because I like orange. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a curved line inside each one of my spaces. Then I come back and I color in my face, orange, the little circles at the end of my antennas, orange, and all of these feet. I'm going to color every single one of these orange. Once I've done that, on the top side, no, the bottom side, I'm going to do every single section yellow all the way. Keep going, keep going. And of course, you'll color this in a lot better than I am right now. And on the tippy top, I'm going to do black. So now we color all of this in black. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's my caterpillar all colored in, ready to go for a walk in the garden. Okay, bye-bye.